On the evening of August 19th and the morning of August 20th, approximately 1.75 inches of rain fell in the vicinity of Weed, California, located 8 miles west of Mount Shasta's Whitney and Bullum Glaciers. Runoff from the rains, coupled with the melting ice of Mount Shasta's Whitney and Bullum Glaciers, produced a large debris flow on the north side of the mountain. 1997 debris flow has deepened the Whitney Creek Inner Gorge. Field observations indicate that the channel bed has dropped in elevation by as much as 40 feet in some areas in response to the 1997 debris flow. The depth of the channel increases with increasing distance upstream. The volume of material removed during incision of the Inner Gorge is substantial and accounts for a considerable amount of the sediment that has been deposited downstream on the alluvial fan. This large debris flow sediment pulse was recorded by Caltrans employee Kurt Sindorf near Highway 97 on the morning of August 20th. Here comes a big gush. Jumping over the banks. Three and four foot boulders coming through like they were chunks of wood. The volume of debris transported by the flow decreases between pulses of sediment. During these quieter periods, the flow remains confined in a single channel. However, it can still move large amounts of sediment. Video taken by Forest Service Public Relations Officer John Silvius shows the ability of the debris flow slurry to float large stones and boulders. The boulder about to move through this reach is almost as wide as the channel and considerably larger than the actual flow depth, yet it tumbles easily through this reach. The August 20th debris flow is the eighth debris flow to occur in Whitney Creek during this century. Future debris flows will continue to reshape the channels and alluvial fans of Whitney and Bullum Creeks in the years to come.